Welcome to my place. Have I got a treat for those of you out there who like a nice embellished vase. This is what we're going to do and this is what I'm calling my Swarovski inspired embellished vase. And I just like the look of the nice clean lines. I love all these lovely little Swarovski crystals in here and it is it can be standalone or you could put some simple little lilies into it or whatever you wanted. It's just a really lovely thing to make and perfect for a gift. These are the things that you need. You need some isopropyl alcohol, that is a must because everything that we do has to be meticulously clean and free of any grime or dirt or dust. We also will need an outliner marker, which I've got here, and these are the porcelain and glass ones that you can pick up at any craft store. I have to thank Spotlight here in New Zealand for the product that we're using today. I've also got a sate stick here, and what I've done here is I've put a little bit of wax on the end of that, and you'll see why I'm using that very soon. I've got a bag of Sorosti crystals. They come in all sorts of colors. I like to just buy the mixed bags because they're a little bit cheaper for the job that I'm going to do today. Plus you need some little leaves, these are optional. And for old ladies who can't see, you need your glasses. Right, to begin, let me just get rid of that. And the first thing that we need to do is to get your marker pen. These come in black and silver and gold. I'm using the gold so that you can see what I'm doing. And it's just a matter of when you first, oh, hold on. Whoa, vital, before we go any further, the most important thing, as I've already just indicated, and I was about to go forth and not even think about that, using your isopropyl alcohol, make sure that it is definitely perfectly, perfectly clean all over, free of any finger marks, and then do that around the top as well. The other thing I like to do is to just get a little pad of some uh, more handy towels, and then I like to lay my, vi my vase down down and I'll just put that there to stop it rolling because I'm not going to use the black and I'll just give that a lovely a little wipe over again from where I've tried it, I've touched it. Right from there the next thing to do is to get your marker pen and before you get into it just have I cut that off there? No I haven't. Be careful when you're cutting the little nozzle end at the end here that you don't make it too too thick because we don't want it too thick we want it to be nice fine lines. Okay, tuck that there and then just push that, use a little pad here and then just push that out like that until you get that nice flow. Now, from here it is just a matter of running this up there like that and then if you wanted to you could have some little veins coming off it. You don't have to be too neat about this because as I've said lots of times, nothing in life or in nature is perfect. So. Don't you just beat yourself up. Okay, so what you might be able to just move that around just a little bit further, and then you could perhaps do another one, and I might want to have a little leaf there, so I can put a leaf there. I might like a leaf into there, and then take that up like so, right up to the top, and then as you, when you get to that stage, leave it until it's completely dry, and then turn it around, and then do all around the base until it's finished. From there, what I like to do is I like to put it into the oven and there are full instructions. It's about 150 for about 15 to 25 minutes, depending on what, on what product you're using. Right, from there, once that is done, and here's one that I've already done, and I quite like that. I love the silver. I think I like that, you know, how those lines are. Right, from there, the next thing to do is to start embellishing with our flowers. So I'm just going to put that there to stop it moving. A towel would have been better, but never mind, I haven't got a towel. Right, I'll just turn that around to there because that's where I want to start. Right, getting, I'm using gem bond glue or craft glue or you could use glass glue. Glass glue. I use the gem bond because it's a product that I'm used to using. And then with your paintbrush, it's just a matter of putting a fine paintbrush into there. Glasses on again because I can't see. And you just put a little dot there because I'm just going to make simple little daisies. Dot there and then just surround that. You only need a little, little, little bit of this glue. That to there and then I'll put one to there right. From there the next thing to do is to get your sate stick and this is why I wanted it. What you do is you go down onto there, you get your little crystal and then you bring that and you carefully put that onto there. So much easier doing it this way and maybe I might feel like a little blue, blue flower there. So you just pick from there 
easy, 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 easy project of just applying your gems. And also it is going to be a little bit, it does take quite a bit of time to get this all done and finished, but you just keep going and, to, and you can move it around for a few minutes. But the great thing about this is, and I just need to move that across there. The great thing with this is that the glue will dry crystal crystal clear keep going working in small section, sections until you've got the whole thing done there are no hard and fast rules just whatever suits you so we'll put that there and the other thing is when you're applying your gems just keep it lying down so that they don't move because they will start to move because they are going to be heavier than what that glue is to hold them so you just keep going until the whole thing is finished if you want to put some little leaves or you wanted to put some little butterflies into it where's my paintbrush that's just a matter of getting that, putting a tiny little dollop of glue there and then they could just be stuck onto the outside like so. And as I said, it needs to be lying down so that they will stay in position. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that this is something that you would like to make perfect gift or standalone with maybe just single flowers in it. I hope I've been of assistance and thank you for watching. I'll see you another day. Thank you.